Hello, Divine Feminine, and welcome to your Power Message for Friday. Fabulous Friday. So I'm going to use four decks of cards, and then we're going to bring in the book. So we're going to bring in the Mermaid Tarot. And I have done a very powerful, almost personal reading for angel family members today. So if you are thinking about joining and becoming a member, it's a great week to do that because I did an 18 plus pick a pile on Wednesday, and we've got a powerful personal reading for the weekend. And if you are an angel family member or higher, make sure you watch that reading today. So I'm going to bring in the Mermaid Tarot. We're going to bring in the Star Temple Oracle. This is a beautiful one by Susie Cherub. And I love that. She's called Cherub after the angels. We're going to bring in Sonia's Death, the Divine Energy Oracle and the Gifts of Life. So let's see what we need to know today. So thank you, angels. What energy pleases the feminine in today? What energy is the feminine operating in on this fabulous Friday? Thank you, one card. What do we need to know for the feminine today? Wow, look at this, jumping out there. What do we need to know for the feminine today, please, angel? I'm going to take them and see what's going on. They're jumping out for a reason, even though they're bunched up there. What do we need to know? What gift are we receiving today as a divine feminine? What gift or gifts are we receiving as a divine feminine? So the message coming through is, look at this, the gift of learning. And I love this because on one side, we've got faith. And on the other side, we've got consideration. So what do we learn? We learn to consider others, to have compassion, to be flexible and adaptable. And we learn to have faith in love and in ourself and our journey and our mission and our twin. So welcome new opportunities to discover yourself and grow. And I feel this is the angel saying, welcome to this day. And I've got this little message here that says, good morning. Your day is going to be great. And the angel saying, welcome to this day. This is a new opportunity, an opportunity to shine, to feel good, to discover yourself and to grow. So why are we here on the earth plane to learn, to be a student and a teacher, be open to learn from people and situations? So we learn from everything we go through, every interaction, every experience, every trigger, every challenge, every delay, every beautiful thing we see, everything we feel, everything we go through, every moment of happiness. We learn through it all, the good and the bad, the highs of our life, the mountains and the valleys, the struggles, allow new choices and resolutions to appear. And we've got the number 11. So when we see 11, 11 on the clock or we see the energy of the 1, 1, 1, we're being reminded that we are learning, waking up. We are spiritual beings, that the universe is around us communicating all the time. So today, whatever you're going through, observe it in a higher way and say, what am I learning today? What am I understanding? What's coming into my awareness? What's going on? And this is really powerful with the nine of ones because I've got this card coming up for members today. So, you know, you'll really resonate if you watch the members reading as well. But this is saying to you, don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up because you're learning. Don't give up if you don't understand something. Learn about it. You know, there's a card in my Twin Flame Wisdom Oracle deck. And it pretty much says this. It's about learning. Let me see if I can find the deck. The deck, the card. Yeah, I don't really need to find it because I know what it says, but you will seeing if I can find it. Here we go. Understanding. Understand. That's not the card either. Where's the card? Here we go. They, and it's powerful as well because they give me the number 11 with the number 11 being at the bottom. Can you see it there? You just about see the number 11. So when we're seeing 11, 11, because we see that number when we are waking up. So you may have seen that number years ago. You know, when you were just waking up to the spiritual part of who you are. And maybe you haven't seen it again for a while, but then it started showing up again. You're thinking, why? I'm already awake. I'm already aware. Why am I seeing the number? And you'll see the number when you're going through a spiritual upgrade or you're needing to learn something or understand. And 1111 says it's not the knowing that makes the difference on this journey. It's understanding the journey that creates the powerful change. So in other words, you know you're a twin flame. But you may not understand what that means. You may know about separation because you're going through it, but you may not know what it means. You may know that your twin is ghosting you, but you may not know why or what it means. So we learn to understand. Okay, we learn 
to understand, which means we understand the journey, but we also learn how to do it and what it means and why. So I feel the 1111 is coming to you today to remind you there's still things that you are learning and you're learning to not give up when things don't go your way or when things don't make sense. If you go through something, you think, well, that doesn't make sense to me. He clearly doesn't care about me. I'm going to move on. Well, we know that's coming from the ego or when our ego says, oh, he doesn't care about you or, you know, you're not good enough or whatever the ego says to edge all that goodness out and to bring in the fear, which is always an illusion, then we're being reminded it's coming from a place of fear, not love. So we're being guided to focus on love and look again and say, okay, what am I learning from this situation? Why is this triggering me? How can I change the way I'm seeing things right now to see things in a higher way? And becoming the observer serves us. So then we don't give up, we learn. So before you give up on this journey, Divine Feminine, or before you give up on your twin, try and understand what they're going through or try and understand the journey or separation or the levels of awareness or whatever it is you are struggling to make sense of. And you receive that knowledge in many ways. You know, there's a playlist here filled with videos, the Twin Flames Everything You Need to Know playlist. Well, not only that, I've done series on separation, the masculine's perspective during separation, the feminine's perspective. I've done messages about how to manifest more money, how to create things. I've even done two tarot series for free. So you can learn about the cards and do readings for others or yourself. So there's many ways you can gather what you need right now. So if you've seen squirrels or even foxes, because foxes are about solutions, but if you're finding that you are seeing squirrels around, whether they are around you physically outdoors or you're noticing them or you're seeing them on a TV show or on a mug or when you go shopping, there's something with a squirrel there. It's a sign that right now you are gathering everything you need. So this is a time for you of gathering knowledge and resources, finding your way, understanding so you don't give up. So before you give up, if you're in that energy today thinking, I've had enough of this journey, I want to give up, but you have seen 1111 and you don't know why, the universe is saying, it's not the knowing that makes the difference on this journey, it's the understanding of the journey that creates the powerful change. So when you understand, you don't give up because you realise what you're here to do and you understand things in a higher way. So instead of judging your twin and the way they're going about things, you start having compassion instead. We've got the enchanter, dream. It says, I wish upon a star and my dreams come true. And this is reminding you of your power and your power since 2021, because you've been going through big shifts and changes. And the number 21 itself is about the universe and it's happening. So two and one, two is about universal power, partnership knowing you're not alone and one is about that new beginning and also about putting your own needs first and thinking about what you desire so it is happening so since 2021 no matter what was going on in your connection around that time whether you knew about your twin or you didn't or you were in separation or you weren't whatever was going on whether they were in your life or not at that time you went through an awakening and the angels have shown me that very clearly Okay, you went through some form of awakening in 2021, no matter how far ahead or behind you may seem on your journey. In other words, you may think, well, I've only just woke up to this. Or you could think, well, I've been on this journey for 20, 30 years. But you've been seen 1111 again since 2021 or signs that something is shifting and changing because the dream that you had maybe when you were born to find your twin flame, because we know that when we're born, obviously we have to grow and experience different lessons and things, but you're very aware from an early age and your higher self that you're here for a reason. That's why you may have been bullied at school or you may have had certain things happening to you that maybe didn't happen to other people. People calling you out for things. Why? Because you are special and unique. They give me fear, maybe even thinking about childhood or school, or the way things happened when you were growing up brings up some fear. You know, they just gave me that energy there of being released because, you know, I was bullied at school. 
and people called me names at school because I was different. And, you know, you just may be different then because you'd like to do things your own way. You could have been a loner, even if you were the most popular person. There was something different about you. And that's because you didn't want to follow the crowd. You wanted to do it your way. You were a born leader and people know that. So this is about you being the enchanter. This is why you have a great mind because you were great at visualizing and creating and making your dreams come true, making things happen. You are an inspiration, a dreamer. And maybe in the past people have said, oh, you're a dreamer. You know, you have to be real. You know, my dad used to say, you have to watch the news, Liz. You know, my mum said it as well. But my dad used to say, you know, you're a bit of a dreamer, you are, Liz. You know, you have to put your feet on the ground. And I used to say, why? I mean, my dad died in 2000. So this was a long, long time ago, 23 years ago. You're a dreamer, Liz. So I've always been a dreamer. And I'm sure you have too. But we get ridiculed by people who don't get that, who prefer to remain in a matrix society that is, you know, televised to play lies to our minds. So we stay stuck in society or doing things the normal way or what people recognize as normal. Being a dreamer means you are something special, that you're here to lead the way. And you are the enchanter. And your masculine is enchanted by you. Your light, your vision, your power. I wish upon a star and my dreams come true. So you're being reminded your power is a magician. And again, I spoke about this in the, in the members reading today. But you wish upon a star because you believe in something bigger than you that's guiding you. And you believe that you are destined for great things. You believe that you are capable of achieving your dreams even if you don't know how they're going to come to you or when they're going to come to you you've always believed and you're pulling that lever because that's opening doors for you we've got 27 the storyteller and 27 is a powerful number as well because it's about manifesting and creation and the universe helping you to do this so you've been shown the storyteller is about intention the way we talk about our lives creates our lives. The visions we have in our minds or the, you know, the, the thoughts we think can become our reality. So the story we tell to ourselves is powerful. So in other words, if you're talking about how bad everything is, you're telling yourself a story about how bad your life is. And guess what? What you focus on grows. You're going to get more of that. If you're telling the story about how amazing everything is and how you want things to be and that there's magic around you and that you are special, then that's exactly what you're going to bring in. Say to the universe today, I am the narrator of my life. So this is also about you being in control. You hold the pen of your life. Don't let anyone take it from you. Don't sit on the bench when you are the star of your own show. Don't let anyone push you out when you're guided to push forward so don't let other people affect you in that way remember who you are remember your power and i love that there's all this kind of blue energy like the sapphire energy in this card this is about the power of heaven and i'm connecting with the energy of archangel sandalfin in both of the colors of these cards so you are the storyteller and i feel this is about what you're manifesting between 2021 and 2027 so you might be thinking okay what's my plan for the next four or five years you know what do i want to create in my life what do i want to do what type of car do i want to drive what kind of house do i want to live in what kind of money do i want to earn what kind of lifestyle do i want obviously you know you want it with your twin but it's about other things as well it's not all about your twin you know in union it's just a normal relationship and that's the thing that we blow it out of proportion before union because we think, oh my God, it's going to be something special and amazing and wow. And it is like that, but it's also normal. It's a normal thing. When you and your twin are together, it's going to feel amazing, but it's going to feel so amazing. It's just normal. People will look at your relationship and be blown away by it, but to you, it's totally normal. You know, like for me and George, our relationship is totally normal, but I know that we inspire people. We get told all the time, even when we're out and about together, our light shines out. And this is coming from people who don't even know what we do or that we're twin flames because it's felt. 
but to you it will be normal. So in other words, what I'm saying is when you're in union, as amazing as it is, and it will be every single day, there's more. You know, there's more than just having a relationship with your twin. There's things you want to achieve, things you want to do, places you want to go, things you want to experience. And that's what this is. So what story are you telling now? Because what you tell yourself now is going to manifest in your future. And we've got the 39, the medicine woman, heal. So you're also being reminded that you are a healer and you have the power to heal others and yourself. And the three is the faith, the nine is the spiritual aspect. So it's saying to you, you have power to heal. I nurture and nourish my mind and my body and my soul. I nourish and nurture my mind, body and soul. So you have the power to heal the mind, the body and the soul. And we are the empress. The empress is a natural nourisher, a natural nurturer. We help and we give and we, you know, we, we kind of heal. So you're able to heal you right now in this moment. Now, what the guy needs me to do as well is pick up on these numbers. So I've got these cards here. So I'm just going to put these to one side for a moment. I know obviously I've got more cards here, but I'm going to go to my angel numbers, Oracle 101. Now, when I created this deck, I created it as an Oracle deck so you can shuffle and get a card okay, or you can use it as a reference guide. So just like you may pick up a book like Angel Numbers by Kyle Gray, which I haven't used for so long, really, because I use my deck or my intuition. But, you know, Angel Numbers, or if you don't want that, if you want a visual aid that you can be interactive with in this way, this is why I created this deck. So, for example, we're looking for 27, 39 and 21. So we go through the deck. Say if you're constantly seeing a number and you're thinking... You know, what does this number mean? What's it trying to tell me? And you've got this deck. Then you can look through and you can find the number. So 27, you are a magnet to your dreams. Okay, what you give out, you get back. You are the storyteller. So you're setting the intention. Okay, between now and 27, what do you want to create? Okay, we've got 39. I don't need to find 21 because that means it's happening. But I want to show you these cards. If I find it, if I'll go past it, I'll get it for you. But this gives you an idea how you can use these cards. We're looking for 39 because that's also connected with the spiritual doorway. So 39. So you go through your deck and you're thinking, okay, what does this number mean? And you find the number. You find the number. Are we going to find the number? Are we going to find the numbers? A lot of numbers in this deck because I wanted it to be, you know, strong and, and powerful and to be able to give you exactly what you need when you need it. So you can put two numbers together like it's happening, 27. So you might see 21, 27 and you think, oh, what's that telling me? Well, intuitively you might think, well, something's telling me there that something big is happening between 2021 and 2027. And the angels are reminding you, you are a magnet to your dreams and what you give out, you get back. And you are manifesting right now. There's power flowing into your life. So we're looking for 39. There it is. Trust your spiritual path and journey. Have faith in it. This is what you're being shown. And if you do like this debt, you know, perhaps you've seen the number 79. You're thinking, what does that mean? Manifesting your life purpose. Or you can shuffle the deck and get a card. You know, then what do I need to know today? The angels are supporting your decisions and you are not alone. Powerful. This is a really powerful deck. I don't use it as much as I should, perhaps. So it just gives you an idea. You know, and if you're interested in this deck or any of my decks, the link for them are in the description box below. They're all available on Make Playing Cards. But the point I'm making is that you have the power to heal your mind, your body, your life. And create what you want it to be. Look at this. We've got make a plan. Make a plan. So all you have to do is make a plan. So you can sit down today and set some intentions and think, okay, 21 to 27. So let this be your homework. Okay, you're going to do some homework. So you get your piece of paper. You think, okay, 2021 to 2027. So obviously you can look at that and think, well, we're in 2023. So we're about there. So you can obviously put your timeline and think, okay, 
I've lived 2021 to 2023. What have I learned? You know, make some time today and do this. This is how we make a plan and how we connect with heaven and our higher self. What did I learn then between 2021 and now? What have I been through? What have I experienced? What powerful things have happened? And maybe make a note of that. And it might blow your mind. You might think, whoa, I forgot about that. Or I never realised that. Or wow, that's so powerful. And then think, okay, what do I want to manifest and create then between 2023 and 2027? Four, five, six, seven. So really it's like four or five years. You know, it's powerful. Maybe you want to focus on growing your business. Or you may want children. Or you may want to visit certain places or experience certain things. You may want to move home and you may have a vision in your mind of your home. So this again really resonates with what we were talking about yesterday with the energy of the vision board and creation and putting things out there into the universe. So the angels aren't really saying make a plan and it may need to be a, a detailed plan to get things into the open so it goes into your vortex of creation. But don't get picky with things. And then, well, it's got to be like this and this and this because then you're limiting what the universe can bring to you. So if you say, for example, my twin has got to contact me by Sunday or that's it. Well, that's demanding. And we can't demand things on this journey in that way. We can request it. Wouldn't it be amazing if my twin reached out to me by Sunday? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, universe, for bringing my twin to me by Sunday. So you can request it, but you don't demand it. He has to do this all. And I've been there when I've said those exact things. If he doesn't contact me by Sunday, right, I'm moving on. I'm giving it till the end of the month and then I'm moving on. Well, guess what? It's the end of the month today. So we're being guided today as we start the new month ahead to make this plan and to move forward with good intentions and to stop demanding things our way because that never works. Instead, remember, love does not demand its own way. Love is unconditional. That means we don't put conditions on it either and say it has to be this way. He has to do it this time. He has to do it that way because our twin does it his way for a reason. So the angels say make a plan and do what you love. So you may want to make a plan to do what you love. You might think, OK, well, between 2023 and 2027, I want to do what I love. What do you love? You may love to travel. You may love to experience new foods. You may love to go to the theatre. Or you may be thinking about career and service and passions. You may think, well, I really want to be a healer. I want to become a Reiki healer. I want to work with crystals. I want to do readings. I want to help other twin flames. I want to do this and this and this. So do what you love. And when you do what you love as your career, you never work a day in your life because you love what you do. It excites you. You feel passionate. So you want to get up in the morning. You want to make a plan. You want to do all these things. And you're excited about what the future holds. And when you do what you love, whether you are focusing on career and making money or service, doing what you love, or you're just enjoying life, the universe will bless you beyond measure. You'll receive all the money you need, the resources you need, the time, the energy, the people. It will all flow in for you. And reach for the stars. I give you that reach for the stars. You know, this is what we have to do sometimes. And this is what it's saying. You are a dreamer. I wish upon a star and my dreams come true. So reach for the stars. Nothing is out of reach for you. Why? Because you are a spiritual being having a human experience. You are connected with source. This universe is limitless. It's only our mind that creates limits. And that's through programming, conditioning, that paradigm that we've grown up with, that we have to break free of. People say, no, you can't have that. You can't do that. Well, guess what? You can. You can be what you want to be. You can be who you want to be. You can do what you want to do. You just have to believe and refine your attention. So again, this is where the angels say to you what you focus on grows. If you focus on the things you are reaching for and the things you desire, you're going to be more likely to manifest those things quickly. But also when you let go and you trust and you have faith and you don't put the demands on, when you rejuvenate 
And the saying, you know, sometimes we just have to take a step back to rejuvenate, to replenish our energy. Because sometimes we can pay too much attention to our twin and it can become obsessive. And if you feel that way, if you feel, because you'll know, you'll feel drained, depleted, tired, you're over giving, you're over trying, it feels too much and it feels toxic. That's the time to step back and rejuvenate and let them take the lead. So let them take the lead, Divine Feminine, but you take the lead in your own life by getting a plan and deciding to do what you love. You can do what you love today by choosing peace, happiness, feeling better, breathing out the struggle and focusing on peace and saying, I choose to rejuvenate myself today. I choose to have a break when I need one, drink some water when I need one, have a good night's sleep when I need one. And I choose to give all of the powerful love, attention and energy I give to them back to myself. And dream big. Don't be afraid to dream. If you've seen 1111, it's the universe saying to you, dream, manifest, create. The world is your oyster. You can be, do and have whatever you desire. So let's bring in the book and see what it has to say today. We've got take it easy today. Take it easy. So there's no need to rush. Okay, you want these goals and dreams, there's no need to rush. It will all happen in divine timing. So relax and surrender all of your desires to God. So when you set your intentions and you dream big and you put out your plan to heaven, relax and surrender your desires to God. You know, I spoke about this before when if you're in a restaurant and you ask the waitress for a meal, you trust that that meal has been prepared in the kitchen to the best of its standard and it's going to come to you when it's ready. You don't go chasing around the waitress or running in the kitchen and saying to the chef, what are you doing? How are you making my food? We may want to do that sometimes because we are controlling as divine feminines, but we trust. And you have to have the same trust and faith when you are manifesting because it needs that time to cook or bake or be prepared. And the universe does that. The infinite wisdom of love and love of the divine always provides for your needs in exactly the right way. So breathe easily and open your arms to receive with full faith. Open your arms to receive with full faith. So take it easy. So sometimes you struggle and strain to achieve so much that you unwittingly block yourself. I've been there certainly trying too hard trying to make it all happen and the angels say slow down you don't have to do it by yourself you're not alone this is especially true when you want something so badly that you try over and over again to make it happen and we do this when we're manifesting we ask again and again and again in case the universe hasn't heard it the first time and the universe says i've heard you i am this limitless being that's creating for you you know, it's like God, God is in charge, he hears everything. You are so important to God that he knows every single hair on your head. So if you're asking for something, he's heard you first time. But we ask again and again and again. And then we block ourselves because the more we ask, the more we start stressing, the more we start trying to find a solution because the ego starts creeping in there. When we ask with full faith and we believe and feel it, that's when we manifest. That's when we make it happen. The universe responds to the fear imprinted into the energy of struggle. The underlying anxiety that maybe what you desire won't materialise is then mirrored back to you in the form of limitations, delays and unsatisfactory manifestations. And that's so true. You know, in the film The Secret, they're talking about how when you're focusing on debt, what you're doing, you're going to get more debt, you're going to get more bills coming in, you're going to get more red tape, you're going to get more struggle. Instead, sort out a debt recovery program and just let it go. And I did that years and years ago. I got myself into a lot of debt when I was in a relationship in my 20s. And I struggled so badly. And then, you know, I remember sitting around where I lived at the time, surrounded by bills, drinking a drink, because I used to drink a lot of alcohol back then, thinking, what should I do? You know, and thought, I need to end my life. And I was going through all these crazy thoughts. And then I pulled myself together. I had a bit of good advice off someone I know. And I just sorted a debt repayment plan out. And then I just let it go and it all cleared up. 
because I wasn't focusing on it anymore. Because you're being reminded that what we put our attention on gets bigger. So refine your attention. So focus on the good stuff. If you're constantly thinking about the karmic situation, what they're doing, where are they, what's going on, you're putting more energy into that karmic situation. If you step away from that energy and focus on living your life your best way and having fun, that karmic situation will dissolve naturally. Because it's not important, that's a dress rehearsal before you. You are the main event. Take it easy today and allow the universe to do the work of creating your dreams. Your, and it says that's why surrendering brings immediate results. When you deliver your visit to the universe or your wish and they give me the visit, the same when you, you, know, you breathe, you relax, you swallow a little bit, you have a moment, you revisit the place in your mind where there is peace. And then the angels bring that wish to you. You also release the fears that previously blocked you. So letting go is a statement that says, I know my wish is manifesting in the best possible way. Even if I'm not certain how it will happen, my faith will open the door and it will welcome in my desire. Take it easy today and allow the universe to do the work of creating your dreams. Your job was done once you made the wish. So turn it over to God and enjoy the creative ways in which your prayers are answered. Isn't that powerful? So in other words, start worrying about it. Trust and have faith that your dream is manifesting and give it to God. Because it absolutely will fall into place at the right time. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.